Hello, bonjour, bienvenue. Uh, welcome to Chateau de Bruges. My name's Jake. My name's Danielle. And my name's Graham. So this is Chateau de Bruges. It has uh, 10 bedrooms, 21 rooms, and it's located in La Perouse, which is in the department of Puy de Dome. Chateau de Bruges has been built since the 16th century. So it's been standing for a very long time, uh, but it's in really good condition. Most of the uh, first floor and ground floor were renovated about 20 years ago. Um, so it's all been uh, recently plumbed, recently electrics, um, electric, recently electric. <laughs> it has new electrics, um, and it's it's pretty much ready for us to to give it our own our own twist on things. So we plan to renovate and restore the property to its former glory, and we are looking to run it as a boutique hotel and luxury events retreat. While renovating the chateau, we each bring our own skills. Um, I will be in charge of anything social media, so Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, and of course the website, um, and also the garden will be my main domain. My job roles are to do with upholstery and interior design at the chateau. Whilst I bring the renovation skills and the knowledge of how to restore the chateau. So although the chateau has 21 rooms to offer, we each have our favourite part. Uh, my favourite part of the chateau is the turret rooms. So on all three floors in one side of the building, um, each of those rooms has a turret space and, and they're going to make for a superb walk-in shower room. Uh, my favourite part of the chateau is the spiral staircase. Again, goes across all three floors um, and is really old and natural with lots of iron um, beams to keep them in. Um, and yeah, it's just a really pretty space, especially in the sun. My favourite room is the largest room on the ground floor, which we're calling the Salon. Um, in the mornings, the sun streams in over the grounds into that room, so it's going to be perfect for a breakfast room. And then in the evening, that will become our main entertaining and social space. Since arriving on the 31st of March, we've been stuck in pretty much two rooms uh, that we are renovating. They are two bedrooms with two en-suites. Um, we're really hoping that they're going to be ready within the next month or so to make sure that they are ready to, to let out to guests this summer. So although we've been pretty busy with restoring and renovating the chateau so far, it has come with its challenges. Um, for me, I think the biggest challenge that we've faced so far is the language barrier. We've all come to France knowing little to no French um, and we've had to pick that up really quickly because we're going into shops and, and asking for, for tiles, for paint, for showers, for toilets. Um, so we're getting to know some fairly useless words in French um, and not really words that you can use in a conversation. For me, uh, the biggest challenge currently is Merlin licking my sun cream off me, um, but that's not such a big challenge. Uh, my biggest challenge of, of, sort of moving out here, I suppose, is leaving um, friends and family behind in the UK um, and coming to live with this lot. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so far it's, it's, it's going really well, um, but it is one of, the, one of my challenges as well as the language barrier for me. Uh, for me the biggest challenge is finding the French equivalent of some building materials. Um, we spent a lot of time in the last week trying to find some French multi-finish plaster, um, which thanks to some, some help from the Facebook groups we've managed to find and, and plaster our first room, which is a bonus. Um, but we're still struggling with some plumbing uh, materials, so uh, yeah, biggest challenge is finding the French equivalent of, of materials which I use on a regular basis. So we've got loads to show you at the Chateau uh, with all of the rooms, uh, the gîtes and the outdoor spaces that we have here, far too much for one video. Um, so you've got to make sure that you like, subscribe and click that notification bell to let us know that you want to see more. If you do, we'll be happy to show you around and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. A viento. Well, let's just hope I pressed record. <laughs> That'd be a proper rookie, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs>